Dume lavaka yesu kunjani to my brothers and sisters in Botswana South Africa Zimbabwe makadini and to my brothers and sisters in Kenya to, how are you my brothers my brothers and sisters in Zambia mwashubuke ni kali mwaika lashani ubushukubwa lelo ndesubila muri umutende kukopa belt kulusaka ku Livingston ku northern province western province eastern and wapula muchinga all the 10 provinces of Zambia mwashubuke ni I, I hope you are all doing well to the rest of Africa and indeed the diaspora welcome today I am sitting here in the kitchen again and I'm thinking hey it's a few days before Christmas Whew, what am I gonna say but of course I will be sending a Christmas message in the next video uh, to everybody that has supported us on this um, channel but I hope you guys have been uh, blessed by all that is being shared on this channel but before I go on and talk about what I want to talk about today please remember to subscribe hit that like button subscribe and spark that bell every time so that every time I produce content such as this you'll be the first ones to be notified and hey my desire and prayer is for us to grow the, this uh, uh, community there is quite a lot of brothers and sisters on the continent and around the diaspora who have basically the same mindset and the goal is to not, is to uh, change the narrative of Africa we are all Africans proud Africans dotted all around the globe and I think there is quite a lot that need to be done uh, in Africa but today I actually want to share this video but before I go on there is a video from the president of uh, Ghana actually quoting uh, what Peter Tosh uh, said in his song uh, produced in 1977 Africa. It sometimes appears the words Africa and Africans have more resonance outside the continent than inside. Where we are home on our continent, it always seems very important to assert that we are Ghanaians, Ivorians, Kenyans, Nigerians, Swazis, Senegalese, Rwandans, South Africans, and Zambians. Then we find ourselves outside the, the, the continent, and then we discover that to the, to the outside world, there are no Ghanaians, there are no Senegalese, and there are no Tanzanians. There are only Africans, and we are all simply Africans. The lesson for me is clear. Our destinies are intricately linked with each other, and we're talking not only about those of us on the continent, but about the Africans in the diaspora as well. You can be an honors graduate from any of the top universities in this country. You can be a second or third generation American. And you can be in a well-paid job. If there's an outbreak of Ebola someplace on the African continent, you are an African. I hope you guys have enjoyed that and, you know, can identify wherever you are you can identify yourself as an African and you are welcome. So today I want to talk about a lesson that we can learn from Africa. Now, Ghana introduced what they call the Year of Return. This was basically an initiative to encourage uh, African diasporians to come to Africa uh, to settle and live, basically in Ghana. But what I want to say to the whole of Africa is basically to look at what uh, Ghana has done over the period of uh, since this uh, initiative was introduced and how far Ghana has actually gone and you know I just say it's a no-brainer let's encourage our brothers and sisters and I think what I want to what I want to say is on this channel is because I think the topic is how to build in Zambia while living in the diaspora or how to build in Africa while living in the diaspora sometimes I tried I think in one of the videos where I tried to qualify uh, the diasporians that I'm talking about hey I think I am now talking about everybody every African diasporian who is in Africa in America 
the Caribbeans, God, uh, South America, Europe, Asia, the Australian, every African. That is the African that I'm talking about. But hey, listen to what uh, our former AU ambassador, uh, Dr. Arikana, had to say. And I hope you will enjoy this video. And I will come at the end of this video and uh, uh, just to sum up what we have learned from this. Here we go. Talk to me a little bit about how Africa can take advantage of its, of its intellectual connection and assets to entrepreneurs who have left, but may want to help um, Africa back because this is one of your major initiatives. Absolutely, the brain drain that started over 400 years ago, when the best and the brightest and the fittest were taken out of Africa forcibly, and that, that is when the brain drain started. I want to make sure that is very clear. Mm. And when we talk about African diaspora, we're talking about all people of African descent living right. outside of Africa. Mm. Let's be very clear, African-Americans, they are Africans who were forcibly taken out of Africa, plus the continued brain drain, those who are later immigrants who left Africa running away from famine, from wars, in search of greener pastures. The end result is, as we speak, Africa has a serious deficit of expertise. Okay. However, the, the, uh, the good news for Africa is that we have a very young, intelligent, vibrant population yep. that need opportunities. Yes. So when we can marry the age group of young, intelligent Africans with the expertise coming from the diaspora, we can see an Africa that can propel itself mm. to take its rightful place on the world stage like it once was. Yes. So yes, the diaspora are an important comp component of Africa's development. Make no mistake about that. All the African leaders are fully aware of that. All the African leaders are in full support mm. of coming up with programs to make it easier for the diaspora to move back. We want to look at diaspora who can come to Africa, not just focus on a country that you were born, born in, but if you are a person of African descent, yes. Africa should matter to you. Africa should be your problem. Yes. You must own Africa's problems, understand it, and participate in the development of Africa. For when we have a stable Africa, it ultimately, it now also correlates with an African-American who is anchored it correlates with right. an Afro-Caribbean who is anchored. Mm. It correlates with an Afro-Latino who is anchored. Mm. Right. Currently, descendants of the formerly enslaved, mm. they are like a ship uh, without an anchor. You, the wind blows that way, here they go. Mm. Until they are anchored by being accepted by Africa, mm. until they are anchored by participating in the development of Africa, the Jews do it, the Chinese do it, the Indians do it, the Irish do it, African-Americans together with the Afri continental Africans, we must make sure that we work together to participate in the development of Africa. Because the development right. and the building of the Africa we want, it is our responsibility first and foremost, and ours alone. Right. Ours, others are welcome to come join us. Right. Others are welcome to help us. Yes. Others are welcome to engage us as equal partners. But we must own the building of the Africa that we want as a united friend of, of the African diaspora. There you are. I hope you've enjoyed the videos, the two video clips that I've shown. One, the president of Ghana, and the second one, Dr. Arikana. And the message in these two videos are quite clear. And I hope you felt the same as I am, energized and feeling, you know, exciting about the future. Yes, wherever you are, whether you are African American in uh, in the United States, in South America, the Caribbean. Remember, we are one, but we are all Africans. But I think what we need to take from this is if we unite, wherever you are in the world, if we unite, we can make Africa great. This is what we are trying to do here. We are trying to uh, encourage people uh, to build back home in Zambia, in Africa. And I think I know there is quite a lot of uh, hurdles, a lot of uh, things that need to be done to facilitate and embrace, uh, make it smooth for our brothers and sisters, uh, the Africans in the diaspora or the African Americans or the um, Africans in, the United, in Europe, South America, everywhere to actually come back home. And I pray that, you know, this conversation has started and Ghana 
uh, he's obviously a role model. We are looking to what Ghana has been able to do and I hope that and pray that all the African governments will actually embrace that policy and will be able to match as one to a greater Africa. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this uh, has encouraged you wherever you are. This conversation has started and we keep on, let's keep on talking about this. And uh, yeah, so if you find this video interesting, if you find it helpful, please remember to hit the like, subscribe and smack that bell so that every time uh, I post videos such as this, you'll be the first ones to be notified. So I'll see you in the next video and God bless you.